81. The distance from which various lighthouse lights around the world are visible at sea far exceeds what could be found on a ball earth 25,000 miles in circumference. For example, the Dunkirk light in southern France, at an altitude of 194 feet, is visible from a boat 10 feet above sea level, 28 miles away. Spherical trigonometry dictates that if the Earth was a globe with the given curvature of 8 inches per mile squared, this light should be hidden 190 feet below the horizon. 82. The Port Nicholson light in New Zealand is 420 feet above sea level and visible from 35 miles away, where it should be 220 feet below the horizon. 83. The Ikaro light in Norway is 154 feet above high water and visible from 28 statute miles, where it should be 230 feet below the horizon. 84. The light at Madras on the Esplanade is 132 feet high and visible from 28 miles away, where it should be 250 feet below the line of sight. 85. The Cordonon light on the west coast of France is 207 feet high and visible from 31 miles away, where it should be 280 feet below the line of sight. 86. The light at Cape Bonavista, Newfoundland is 150 feet above sea level and visible at 35 miles, where it should be 491 feet below the horizon. 87. The lighthouse steeple of St. Boltoff's Parish Church in Boston is 290 feet tall and visible from over 40 miles away, where it should be hidden a full 800 feet below the horizon. 88. The Isle of Wight lighthouse in England is 180 feet high and can be seen up to 42 miles away, a distance at which modern astronomers say the light should fall 996 feet below the line of sight. 89. The Cape Lagulas Lighthouse in South Africa is 33 feet high, 238 feet above sea level, and can be seen for over 50 miles. If the world were a globe, this light would fall 1,400 feet below an observer's line of sight. 90. The Statue of Liberty in New York stands 326 feet above sea level, and on a clear day can be seen as far as 60 miles away. If the Earth were a globe, that would put Lady Liberty at an impossible 2,074 feet below the horizon. 91. The lighthouse at Port Said, Egypt, at an elevation of only 60 feet, has been seen an astonishing 58 miles away, where, according to modern astronomy, it should be 2,182 feet below the line of sight. 92. The Notre Dame Antwerp spire stands 403 feet high from the foot of the tower with Strasbourg measuring 468 feet above sea level. With the aid of a telescope, ships can be distinguished on the horizon, and captains declare they can see the cathedral spire from an amazing 150 miles away. If the earth were a globe, however, at that distance the spire should be an entire mile, 5,280 feet below the horizon. 93. The St. George's Channel between Holyhead and Kingstown Harbour near Dublin is 60 miles across. When halfway across, a ferry passenger will notice behind them the light on Holyhead Pier as well as in front of them the pool bag light in Dublin Bay. The Holyhead Pier light is 44 feet high, while the pool bag lighthouse 68 feet. Therefore, a vessel in the middle of the channel, 30 miles from either side, standing on a deck 24 feet above the water, can clearly see both lights. On a ball earth 25,000 miles in circumference, however, both lights should be hidden well below both horizons by over 300 feet. 94. From the highland near Portsmouth Harbour in Hampshire, England, looking across Spithead to the Isle of Wight, the entire base of the island, where water and land come together, composes a perfectly straight line 22 statute miles long. According to the ball earth theory, the Isle of Wight should decline 80 feet from the center on each side to account for the necessary curvature. The crosshairs of a good theater light directed there, however, have repeatedly shown the land and water line to be perfectly level. 95. On a clear day from the high head near Douglas Harbor on the Isle of Man, the whole length of the coast of North Wales is often plainly visible to the naked eye. From the point of ear at the mouth of the River Dee to Holyhead comprises a 50-mile stretch which has also been repeatedly found to be perfectly horizontal. 
if the Earth actually had curvature of 8 inches per mile squared, as NASA and modern astronomy claim, the 50-mile length of Welsh coast seen along the horizon in Liverpool Bay would have to decline from the center point an easily detectable 416 feet on each side. 96. From 100 Proofs the Earth is Not a Globe by William Carpenter if we take a journey down Chesapeake Bay by night, we shall see the light exhibited at Sharps Island for an hour before the steamer gets to it. We may take up a position on deck so that the rail of the vessel's side will be in a line with the light and in the line of sight, and we shall find that in the whole journey the light won't vary in the slightest degree in its apparent elevation. But say that a distance of 13 miles has been traversed. The astronomer's theory of curvature demands a difference, one way or the other, in the apparent elevation of the light of 112 feet 8 inches. Since, however, there is not a difference of 100 hairs' breadths, we have a plain proof that the water of the Chesapeake Bay is not curved, which is a proof that the Earth is not a globe. 97. NASA and modern astronomy say the Earth is a giant ball tilted back, wobbling and spinning 1,000 miles per hour around its central axis, traveling 67,000 miles per hour circles around the Sun, spiraling 500,000 miles per hour around the Milky Way, while the entire galaxy rockets a ridiculous 670 million miles through the universe, with all of these motions originating from an alleged Big Bang cosmogenic explosion 14 billion years ago. That's a grand total of 67,568,000 miles per hour in several different directions we're all supposedly speeding along at simultaneously, yet no one has ever seen, felt, heard, measured, or proven a single one of these motions to exist whatsoever.